What's up, YouTube? My name's Rob, and I'm back for yet another reaction video. So, just wanted to take the moment to tell just a little thing of how this happens. About two months ago, I put out a video that I had gotten. And it was the first video I ever reacted to to anything rugby related. I think it was rugby's greatest, hardest hits. Right, and at the time I was only reacting to rap songs, so to have that video come out, and it was just a spur of the moment thing, because I was like uh, interested in the UK, focusing on the UK, to have that come out, and then to have something separately, enti something entirely separate, launched me on a whole new path with something major that blew up, and it was literally just one guy that requested that I do a reaction video, and it ended up being among the most success it is now currently the top viewed video on my entire channel that video rugby's greatest hardest is my reaction to it so if you want to check that out you can see it in the comment section below but more than likely you probably already have and that's probably why you're checking this out so with that in mind one with that in mind with one um youtuber comment branching me out and then taking my channel to new heights. I'm kind of hoping that similar thing will happen yet again. In response to a request that I've gotten off of that video. From a YouTuber by the name of Natapol Kahanakul. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, my apologies. But this YouTuber in particular is basically setting me on the path yet again to branch my channel out even further. And by having me check out this video uh, that is related to the sport of Muay Thai. And I really believe this can be something interesting for me to check out. Because there's also other people that want me to check out other sports. Such as cricket. I might check that out in, in my next wave of videos. But in the end, I really think this would be something that can introduce me to a new world of sport and athleticism. That I can really come to grow and appreciate. And yeah, I just want to be taken for a ride. So, because I don't fully know what to expect, um, I have a, a slight, a small story that I'm going to tell you at the end about myself in terms of martial arts. But I just want to um, take the time to just basically say, I really hope this branches out and takes my channel to new heights because I just know it's capable. So, I just want to emphasize the point. Please send me new and different things because those new and different things can always end up being incredibly, incredibly just spectacular in the grand scheme of it all. And it really will have the effect on making me smarter for seeing it and making my channel more diverse and a greater just place to check out in general. So I just have to appreciate that. And again, I just have to appreciate you. Um, YouTuber Natapol Kahanapu. Again, if I'm mispronouncing that, I am so sorry. I mean you nothing but respect. But thank you so much for checking out my channel. I'm so sorry it took me so long to get back to you. But I was on vacation, and that's why. So, that was an extremely, extremely wordy way of saying thank you. And an extremely just wordy way to basically say, let's get into this thing. And this video is a video that was requested by that YouTuber basically saying this is a great way to introduce you to my national sport in Thailand um, Muay Thai and I can't I don't think I can totally can pronounce it I think it's um, uh, Sanchi Sanchi highlight thinking I'm about to see something pretty incredible this is gonna be the last video I post up my wave of videos this week for this wave of videos so I, I want to end it on a really high note I was basically saving the best for last but let's not waste any more time getting into this. I'm kicking this thing off in three, two, one, click. Muay Thai scholar. Right? <laughs> okay. Oh, they set up like boxing. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. 
Mm. Almost reminds you of kickboxing almost. Let's get that leg and just kick him out. I love it. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. It's like boxing with kicks, man. Oh, man. Mm. You saw that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. I can see it. Oh. Oh my God, those fists, man. Like lightning. Just imagine somebody getting their leg up that high. Oh! Nice. Ugh. That roundhouse, man, like really. a lot of the same guys oh is he saying she so I'm guessing that's saying she okay mm. got him on the ropes Ooh. Slam him. Oh. That signature move, just get, hooking that leg under you and just like, yeah, he just picked that dude up like nothing. <laughs> oh man. up but still like mm. Can you imagine just sparring with this guy like really <laughs> in that dancing Get squared up, he can just get his leg up and just break that out. Like, open. <laughs> Mess up with him. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He caught it. He's having just fun with it. He up there, he up there, and then boom. <laughs> I 
Then he go at him. On that leg. It's almost like that Bruce Lee one inch punch, but a kick, and you go boom. Mm. <laughs> He's all just a distraction. Then leg hook. Mm. Yeah. Under their arm, that like feathers things. What's all that about? Hmm. I just noticed that. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. Oh, nice. I need to see more stuff like that. More kicks like that. Man. Oh, oh. oh. He got him running. Oh. Nice dodge. It was like a break dance move, but he like go over and like uh, and then kick you. It's like mm. got him down. Grab the leg, grab the leg, walk him out, walk him, walk him out, and flip him. I'm like, wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. What, what's that move called? What does somebody tell me what that move is called? Like, please. I want to look it up some more, man. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. What is that move called? Oh, man. Mmm, 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 mmm. What is that move called? Oh man. Oh man. What is that move called? What is that move called? Mm. 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 He bad, he know he bad. Mm. 
<laughs> like really okay that guy Ugh. that guy that guy that guy what is that move called what is it called looks like a break dance move where he flips in he goes down he gets the leg up <laughs> like what is that move called oh my god oh my god all right so I believe this guy's name is Say Henshi because it was the same guy and we're seeing his best highlights sort of like um oh highlights reels from different sports and this happens to be a sport now um i see you i see you must have focused in on this one guy because you may be particularly you like this guy which is awesome which is totally awesome um i like him too after this 10 minute video checking him out like really oh man now this is a very disciplined sport to do just participate in it and to actually get the um knowledge and get the training of it it's a very disciplined as task is us very hard yeah it's very hard to do it you can't just like you can't really like half ass the moves you really have to put the time and effort into perfecting it and make sure you get the technicals and the uh, fundamentals of it down because if you don't then it's just horrible now I okay now I, okay something about me and something that I liked that I liked with it, um, or something I noticed with it, I'm going to say, before I get into my personal story of mixed martial, of martial arts, before I say mixed martial arts, just martial arts, um, I noticed that with this one, it looked very similar to boxing, almost, but they were able to kick, so it kind of reminded, made me think of, in my sense, kickboxing, almost in that sense, and I don't know if that's like exclu exclusively only feet. If that is, uh, please send me something on that, and I can maybe we can talk about the differences and all that. You can like enlighten me as to the differences between kickboxing and Muay Thai and all that. Um, but yeah, um, it's some pretty crazy moves that I saw him doing, and I also kind of want to have a scope for like what moves, like where what moves are allowed, what moves aren't allowed, um, and. Well, I bet you know what I say it's comparable to um, boxing. No, it's more comparable to maybe UFC. I guess I, I think that would be a more accurate comparison, probably. But um, and if I'm wrong with that, again, please tell me why it's why it's wrong and where again where are differences, where are technicalities. Um, yeah, so tell tell me more about this sport in terms of um, I guess rules and all that because that can get pretty crazy. That him doing that one move, just flipping over. And doing like the freaking oh man, the break dance kick move. That's what it looked like. I was that's why I wanted just to call it the break dance kick. Uh, but I know it has a technical um, term to it. Uh, okay, but anyway, that besides that, getting more towards the crux of it. My history is in martial arts. Um, my story with martial arts. So about two years ago, yeah, about two years ago, I'm a senior in high school. I took on a job. Uh, just um, a job to get money going and I wanted to I was also at the time trying to get into just a legitimate habit of working out and going to a gym and starting to work out and one of the things that I actually did try to do both stay in shape and also actually I actually was in I actually was uh, mentally invested with trying to get myself a good strong foundation in self-defense so I went to a uh, mixed martial arts gym by me, the place was called Precision Mixed Martial Arts, and in there, I was um, introduced to, I was shown different, I was given an option of like a few different types of styles and uh, fighting styles and disciplines that I could try and train under, but I was told that as a beginner, but, but basically I was, um, I sort of like had a pre-interview to say, basically so I can get in there and they can see well, what my history was before that. And I basically told them I'm like kind of a noob to it. And it was like, okay, well, we'll kind of work with you. And I told them what my goals and my ambitions were in terms of what type of fighter I kind of wanted to be and what kind of skills I wanted to maintain and pick up. And basically what I ended up saying was, like, look, man, um, I'm kind of a little dude. I'm five, seven and a half. So that's, that's technically the average height for a man in my country. Um, but that's not any, by any stretch of means a big dude. If you're like six something, you can like look down on me and think, okay, this, is a, this guy's an easy target, all right? I got a little meat on my bones, which kind of helps me out a little bit, but I'm not the type of dude that would try to pick a fight. I'll try to defuse the situation with my words and just with some common sense, if possible. And in the long scheme of things, that's kind of what they tell you anyway. If you can defuse it and walk away, just try to defuse it and walk away rather than start a fight. And basically, 
that and there's one other place that I'm going to mention in uh, maybe a minute or two. Basically teach the same thing. If you can defuse it, walk away from a fight, do that. You don't want to be starting fights and just starting to basically try to prove yourself like you're some big bad honcho or whatever. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You're going to lose something. You're going to lose something you care about or even worse, you could possibly lose your life. You never know. On the street, there's no rules. And that's another thing I'm going to mention in a minute. But going back to this for gym, precision mixed martial arts. I told him what my ambitions was, and I said, well, you know what? I'm not really a big dude. Um, I don't think that would entitle me to wrestling. Wrestling is really a good sport to do if you are a big dude. Um, that's what That was my mindset at the time. I, I'm going to get back to that. But me, I'm more focused on not getting on the ground, period. So I'm more focused on um, just striking. So this box hitting. And I'm more focused on, um, I said, actually knowing technical ways to use my legs, right? Because you can kick, but if it's not like a good kick, like a legitimate kick with like a set move and you don't have the flexibility and dexterity to do it, I actually do have flexibility, as you saw, I actually do have flexibility, um, then yeah, it can actually, then it um, can actually work out for you, but you actually need to have the training and then for um, technicality to actually be able to coordinate those moves into something that's actually usable or something that's actually plausible should a fight break out and you actually need to defend yourself. So here's what we ended up deciding. Based on the money, the amount of money that I was able to spend on it and the, um, the skill set that I wanted to walk away with. We ended up deciding um, that I would take um, this class called Valley Tudo, which would be introductory um, the uh, introductory self-defense on a basic level for just newcoming people, whoever felt like they needed it. And we, decide, we decided that I was going to take um, introductory boxing because that's something that pretty much they let anybody do that's new. And then, uh, but the, the most entertaining thing that they let me do was um, beginning and intermediate um, Muay Thai. And I really enjoyed that. But I do have, I, I, I enjoyed the idea of it at least, but when I actually got into it, and I have, still have the pads and all the equipment and everything, I still have boxing gloves, I still have the leg pads for actually training and sparring, never got to spar, I never got to spar, they say when you, you've got to build up a really legitimate um, set of moves and time for that before you can actually go and do that, um, I never, I didn't stay long enough to even do that, just a bunch of circumstances and stuff going on in my life that really stopped me from doing that. The big thing for me being school, that really took my attention away from a lot of things. School and work, just in general. But, um, yeah. I do, so, from being in that standpoint and actually training with other people that was said studying this discipline and actually being in that situation, I have a really strong appreciation for what this is. That's why I was able to say, and I'm still saying now, this is a very, very disciplined sport very disciplined sport that is not like a just anybody thing can really do it really isn't it really takes a specific type of person that's going to put in that um, that time that hours that dedication to really make that work and um yeah because just doing the warm-ups for that oh my god they basically tried to freaking kill us every time they, oh they made sure that you try to get in shape and when it came out of it when it came down to it too i said you know what this isn't really a thing that i can do to get in shape this is more a thing that you need to be in shape to do so um, yeah, I, I really had, um, a good, I really had, a, um, an eye-opening experience with that. So, um, the Valley Tudo, that was to basically teach me, um, general concepts of just avoiding fight in the first place. A, spotting crap and knowing when your situation was dangerous. And B, um, knowing basic level moves and how to get out of holes and how to, um, I think we learned like maybe one or two flips or something like that. And we learned like maybe one or two different types of hits or a few different types of hits and stuff like that that we could do, which was interesting. I like I learned how, and, and this, is, this is one thing that brought me back to wrestling and I was thinking about wrestling. With this, I learned how to get out of a hold. If I was like on the ground and somebody was on me and choking me like that, I learned how to get out of that type of hold. And... It was then that I actually had a respect for wrestling because wrestling is that technicality of getting out of arm bars and stuff like that. And yeah, I really, oh, getting out of that and going into arm bars, I'm sorry. See, it's a technicality to it, it really is. That's what really developed my um, 
my respect for wrestling was the thing, which was a sport that I didn't really look highly on at all. I'm like, okay, you got these two dudes up on the ground, uh, on, and they're all up on each other. I'm like, I'm trying to be associated with that. I wasn't. But no, that's a serious sport. That's a seriously another sport in its own entirety. But it just wasn't, again, I just felt, um, me being a smaller dude, I never saw wrestling as something that I would be able to dominate as. Therefore, I wasn't trying to specialize in that. So boxing, I learned um, striking moves. I learned, um, yeah, the basic striking moves, a lot of re a repetition. They say find the rhythm, find the um, rhythm and jive to it because you learn the um, hook. Oh, I'm sorry. You learn the jabs and you learn the hooks and all that, right? And then with the Muay Thai, that focused on my legs. So I learned a lot of way, uh, a few different ways to use my knees. That was a big type of uh, tech kicks, some side kicks. Those hurt. <laughs> um, and then of course, what he was, what you saw a lot in this video, the out, the in and out solos. Well, I'm not, I'm not, it looks crap. It looks like crap on camera. I haven't done it in like two years. But yeah. And um, that was precision mixed martial arts. The um, main reason I couldn't end up staying was because of money, um, money and school costs, and just my obligations at the time weren't there. But this um, last year in school, I was able to do something else. I did um, for a semester in school. I did uh, Gojuru Karate. Right? I had to think of the name to get it specific. To get it down specifically. It was um, Karate. And I actually was told the history of this. It was a karate form that was uh, originated in America. Right, and there was a, and we actually can track down the actual master lineage from the guy who brought it from out from Asia to um, to America, and so we actually can track the lineage of that sport and how it was brought. So I learned different um, stances, I learned different grabs, I learned different holds, and I learned different moves with that. And I still had my gi from that. I it, I didn't get my gi personalized until at the very end of it, but um, then I got my gi personalized, and then I was um, in there and I was doing that. And I actually had some fun with that, so it was pretty cool. It was um, really interesting. That was fun to do it, but I only did that for a semester. And if you really want to get good and technical with like really anything, it really takes time to um, get into that. And in the end. If just I, in the end, I wish I could have been doing that from like a young age to now, but my parents were never really crazy about putting me the, in that for at it like a young age because they were always afraid. Because when I was younger, I was bigger than most kids, so they was afraid if we teach you how to be this karate. And I was also into superheroes too, and it's like you gonna see this crap on TV. <laughs> you will be going to go around beat people up or whatever crap like that, thinking you a ninja superstar badass or something. Bad. We can't have that, man. We can't have that. And I'm like, damn. But yeah, really. <laughs> um, yeah. But now I now I just appreciate it in a whole different way, where it's like if something actually were to jump out, you want to be able to defend yourself, and I really have a respect for what this is and just what people could put themselves through to get themselves to that point and in the end I just uh, it's beautiful to watch when you actually watch something that's more um, trained and more professional so I like to see sometimes the different um, showcases that are done of the different fighting styles um, I know I know of a bunch of I, I can name a bunch of different fighting styles. I know some uh, of their origins to some degrees. Um, I know Krav Maga is probably very interesting because it's like among them, the newer ones, and it's from Israel. That's they developed their own fighting style. That's insane. Um, Judo's Japanese. Um, baklava. Wait. Oh, scratch, scratch that. Scratch. Uh, Judo's Japanese. <laughs> wow. Um, Taekwondo's Korean. Um, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of different things out there that I think people really could take advantage of. And then you have the whole concept of mixed martial arts where you're having or you're combining moves from a different fighting styles because, and I, that I think was what um, MMA was about, mixed martial arts. And that's what, what um, their, their main philosophy was, not just being limited to one fighting style, whereas you have only a certain limited move because a lot of them end up saying, Look, it's very restrictive to only stick to one uh, fighting style's move. You end up saying, okay, well, you got to use the full showcase before you can actually be, like, 
what we perceive to be the karate badass or like Bruce Lee or anything like that. So it's really, that really even opens it up even wider in your, in your sense of, wow, this is a really technical thing. This is a really impressive thing that people can do. Because um, now you're not even just talking about learning one style. Now you're talking about learning all kinds of different styles and learning how to transition between those different styles too. And that's like, that in itself is an art. It's, it is beautiful when you actually can fully pull it off. So again, I'll have to thank the YouTuber that ha had me check this video out. Again, his name is uh, Natapol Kahanakul. Again, if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm so sorry. I mean nothing but utmost respect. Thank you for um, suggesting that I check out this video. And please, if you have anything else uh, martial arts related, I, you can know for a fact I will be interested in checking that thing out, critiquing it to the best of my ability and my know-how, and also I'm willing to learn um, about things that I don't know about. So, like I said in this video, what is that move called? <laughs> I just want to call it the breakdance kick, but I know there's a technical move to it and maybe a history to it too. And like, how dangerous is that move, you know? Like, these are the type of things you really want to think about when you do that. Uh, when you watch it and you see it, because that... <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was awesome. All right. So, thank you everybody for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you have a video you want me to check out and think I really should check out, please put that video down in the comment section below. With that being said, my name is Rob, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.